When we're doing titrations, we're going to be reading the burette multiple times before and after each titration, and so it's very important to understand how to read the burette correctly. So this is a zoomed in picture of an initial reading for a titration. If we look at the numbers here, we see that this is a six, and here's seven, and here's eight. And so it's very important to understand that this six does not mean that the burette has six milliliters in it. The eight does not mean that it has eight milliliters if the volume, if the level is down there. Think of this as a ruler. So it's just kind of a ruler that we're using to measure. So zero, one, two, three, etc. We are not measuring, can't think. We're not measuring the volume in the burette. That's not possible and it's not meaningful. We are going to measure how much sodium hydroxide was released from the burette. And we'll do that by recording a starting place. Say we started here and we ended up here. The difference is the volume that was added. So when we read a burette, we just use the numbers as if they were a ruler. So we're looking at the bottom of the meniscus, the curved part here. And um, because of the colors behind it, we can see there's, um, it's, it's dark because it's reflecting some things around it. So that's convenient. Um, here we have a line that represents seven. Here's a line that represents six. And then we need to look at how many divisions are there in between. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 divisions. So each line represents 0.1 milliliter. We always estimate one digit. So we're gonna read this to plus or minus 0.01 milliliters because where the lines are there's no uncertainty and we're going to read between the lines to get an estimate so if we look at this we see that it's between the seven and the six that means it's six point something so six point and um, the pointer is not very small here I'm going at the center of the dot so there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the meniscus is between the six, I'm sorry, the seven and the eight. So this is 6.7 something. And then we're gonna estimate between the lines. Um, some people can do this to plus or minus 0 0.01, some people just go to plus or minus 0.05. The important thing is that you have two decimal places. Now it's clearly not on the seven and it's not on the eight, it's in between. And as I'm looking at that, I'm thinking it looks about halfway, so I'm gonna call that 6.75. We do typically use milliliter as a unit on the reading. So I'm gonna call that 6.75 milliliters. That's the reading initially on the burette. After we finish the titration, we'll look at the final reading, and then to find the volume added, we'll take the final, final reading and subtract the initial reading, and that will give us the volume added. And that's what we're interested in.